What's up everybody? Welcome to the fifth tutorial in Photoshop. Last time we talked about colors and this time we're going to be going into painting with brushes. Now as you see to the left hand of the side this is your brush menu bar. You have three basic choices here. The brush which allows you to paint smooth lines. The pencil which allows you to paint more jagged and hard lines and the color replacement tool which we'll be talking about later. We'll mostly be working with a brush tool. But one other thing that I want to talk to you guys about the brush tool is that you also have an airbrush option as well. If you go click on this symbol right here at the top and scroll down you can see this kind of faded brush looks. And if you click on one of them you can see that this provides kind of an airbrush look to the brush. Now this is useful when you want to not paint hard lines and go from gradually from color to color. So just keep that in mind. So I'm going to switch back to my basic brushes. And one thing people ask me all the time is how do I paint a straight line? Say you wanted to paint a straight line and you were doing by freehand as you can see the lines sometimes aren't always that straight so if you wanted to paint an exact straight line this is what you do click anywhere where you want to begin your point with your brush now say you wanted to paint a straight line from here to here all you would do before you click down your second point is hold down the shift key and click with your mouse as you can see it painted a perfectly straight line from point A to point B and you can keep holding down your shift key and painting straight lines to get the desired shape you want you can always go back to freehand just by letting go of the shift key and say you wanted to paint a perfectly straight line either perpendicular or parallel to the screen what you do instead of clicking the shift key you would just hold it down the entire time when you're painting so just press the shift key and as you paint from left to right it gives you a perfectly even line with the edge of the image and this works up and down as well as you can see as my mouse cursor goes from left to right it doesn't vary it just gives you a perfectly straight line still so those click and shift op and options and shift and drag options are two ways to paint a perfectly straight line. Now the last tool we want to talk about is the color replacement tool. Now what this does is, re is replace a common color in an image. So let's go and select our color replacement tool and say we wanted to change this guy's shirt to uh, green. What we do is go to our colors palette and pick whatever color we would want and you'll just simply paint over the image. This is useful when you want to change someone's shirt color or eye color or something like that. As you can see just painting this real quick that his shirt has now changed to a shade of green. There are also uh, some better ways of doing this which we'll talk about later but here's one basic way to replace color in your image now next I want to talk to you about basic brush settings so let's go to our, our basic brush again and talk about the settings there are two ways you can adjust your settings one is a toolbar at the top of your screen right here and the other is just by right clicking anywhere on the image and it will bring up all your settings. These are the exact same. As you can see the toolbar gives you a list of brush tips you can use. And if you click this little right arrow right here you can select a different drop down list of different types of brushes. This will give you some custom brushes that Photoshop has preset. And you can always change the diameter by using this slider up here. 
As you can see, it gives you a wide variety of brushes. Some useful, some not so useful. The mode we'll be talking about in the next tutorial. The opacity is just the transparency. You can set that from anywhere from 1 to 100. And the flow is just the pressure of your brush. So as you can see, Photoshop gives you a wide variety of brushes that you can use already built into Photoshop. But let's say you didn't want to use any of those brush presets and none of them were quite right for you. If you want to create your own brush tip, you can always go over here and click this little panel called Brushes. This will bring up a wide variety of options for you to create a custom brush tip including width of the brush, direction of the brush, and angle. And all of these options are pretty self-explanatory. All you have to do is select what you want and simply begin painting. And say you got the brush you made and you want to save it because you know you're going to be using it for a while. Once you got the brush just how you want it, click the drop down menu at the beginning of the screen at the top, click this right arrow and click new brush preset. As you can see the brush we, we made is already set in there. You can name anything you want and click OK to save it. Now say you've been painting for a while and you moved to some different tools. To get the brush back that you saved simply just click on the brush icon again, go to the drop down list, click the little right arrow and click load brushes these will give you all the brushes that you saved but for the most part we'll be working with the basic brushes and that's what I'm going to be talking about in my tutorials so now that we covered brushes in the next tutorial we're going to be covering the basic modes of the brushes and finding out what all of these mean and if you missed anything I went over today you can always check out my website, thenewboston.com. I'll give you a step-by-step -step tutorial of everything that we learned. Thank you.